Hello, this is Dr. Jamwali at the Ormus of NY. We have been getting a lot of questions about tooth extraction. I am here today to answer some of the most common questions. Tooth extraction might be necessary when the tooth is not restorable, and this is the job of general dentists. They examine the uh, mouth, and if the tooth is not restorable and they feel that it's not salvageable, whether it's from cavity or periodontal disease, uh, or a crack in the tooth, then the tooth has to be removed. Types of tooth extractions are from basic tooth removal to um, fully bony impacted wisdom teeth, which require expertise of an oral surgeon. And uh, in that situation, we have to open up the gums and remove some bone around the teeth and uh, remove the tooth. A dentist would recommend the wisdom tooth uh, removal or extraction when the wisdom teeth are causing damage to the teeth next to them or they're causing pain and infection. Braces require tooth extraction when there's not enough space in the arch or in the mouth. And usually the orthodontist uh, is the one that decides uh, to whether remove the teeth or not. Tooth extractions or fillings uh, are uh, necessary for the young uh, adults or children. Um, this is necessary to maintain the arch and space in the mouth and uh, this should be determined by, again, pedodontist or general dentist. Whether or not to remove the tooth when there is gum disease, it's a decision that general dentist makes. And when there's a severe periodontitis, then the tooth needs to be removed. All tooth extractions are considered oral surgery. This is uh, basic oral surgery or uh, can be a little bit uh, complicated. Length of uh, removal of a tooth uh, depends on the expertise of surgeon, uh, the level of impaction of the tooth, and the age of the patient. So for example, a uh, fully uh, impacted uh, wisdom tooth on an 18 year old should not take more than 10, 15 minutes for an oral surgeon. Uh, you will need dental uh, implants after tooth extraction to maintain the uh, bite, occlusion, and the uh, space in your mouth. Uh, if you do not get implants after tooth extraction, the jaw bone that supports the tooth will disappear after a few years. You will brush your teeth after tooth extraction by uh, getting a baby toothbrush or shutting off your electrical toothbrush. I usually advise uh, patients to wait 24 hours and then afterwards just go over the teeth and not the gums and brush gently. What you should do after extraction and uh, for recovery is uh, to follow the instructions uh, given to you by the surgeon. In my office, we recommend uh, not to exercise, uh, smoke cigarette or drink alcohol for 10 days, uh, do not use the straws to drink, and stay on a soft diet for two weeks. You should not rinse after tooth extraction because this could dislodge the blood clot. If the blood clot is removed, then you could um, have a major pain. Dry socket is basically uh, exposed bone and nerves in the socket after tooth removal. This usually uh, occurs on the fourth day. So when the blood clot is removed, uh, the nerves are exposed and this is, causes severe pain, which is almost 10 out of 10 pain. And you can avoid this uh, by following the instructions. Again, in our practice, we say do not use straws to drink for 10 days and uh, no smoking, no exercise. You should uh, wait about 10 days uh, after tooth extraction before you exercise. Uh, the recovery after tooth extraction uh, depends on the skills of the surgeon, the age of the patient, and the difficulty of the tooth removal. Uh, but in general, we say that uh, Recovery after tooth extraction is a process. Uh, first two, three days is a little bit uncomfortable. And after that, every day you will get better and better. Uh, you can go back to work usually after two, three days. You should schedule an appointment for tooth extraction if you're in pain or if your general dentist has suggested you to see an oral surgeon. Thank you very much for paying attention. And uh, this is Dr. Jamali. I hope I have answered some of the questions.